Hey everybody, it's Brad again with another video on Masterworks 3. Um, today I'm going to share something that I just learned um, like 10 minutes ago and am pretty excited about. Um, I've always been taught uh, for years and years and years that you can't have too many clicks when you're drawing uh, an outline because every time you click and and make a running stitch out of out of the, the outline, every click is a forced stitch. The software will force a stitch on you right there, and that's supposedly the case in every every software that there is. Um, well, I just found out something that fixes that problem. Uh, if we go, I'm just going to bring up a backdrop here, so I have something to trace, and I'm going to trace the outline of something. So, just bear with me here. Uh, I'm not going to be very particularly careful, and I'm going to intentionally use a whole lot of clicks here. So I'm just clicking to my heart's content. Obviously I'm not being very careful to stay in the lines because it doesn't matter. I'm not going to sew it out. Okay, so I've got my I've got my outline here. Um, <laughs> it's not very good. It's alright. Uh, and I'm going to go up to the thing where I can see the dots. This is the reform tool. So this shows me all these spots that I clicked. Now in a previous video I showed you how to simplify this where you can actually go in and uh, do a simplify you right click on your line and it'll re reduce the amount of stitch points there's still a lot of stitch points in here though even after I did that um, that would be forcing unnecessary stitches in there um, so what did I learn well let me show you if you go in I'm gonna make this a running stitch uh, notice in your properties menu down here, the the bottom option, drop run stitch. I was looking at that um, right right after I finished my last video, which was all running stitches, and I was like, what is that? What does that mean? Uh, so I went and looked it up. Imagine that, me reading the manual. Um, and what it does is fix that problem. Drop The default setting, drop run stitch at anchor, what the anchor is these points. These are called anchor points and drop run stitch means it's gonna drop the needle at each one of those anchors so that's the default setting um, if you go and turn this off though put it on none then it forces the the software to use the stitch length that you have assigned to it now you lose some definition there because it no longer is forced to take those short stitches that you used so you can't always use this but see here we've lost some of the definition because the stitch length of this is forced to be three millimeters at all times so what I can do though is reduce my stitch length and we can you can go a stitch length as short as like a, a millimeter and a half before it starts really giving you big problems so let's see what happens if I do that so yeah, I get my definition back, and even though, you know, the the longer the stitch length, kind of the better uh, in, the, in the long run um, for the machine, it's still better than a million little teeny tiny, you know, less than one millimeter stitches that are being forced on you uh, with it set to drop the anchor the other way. So with the exception of really, really tiny, uh, really detailed things, um, you know, it's, it's quite useful. Um, so now what's the other thing in here the other thing is a cord gap alright and what that does is it forces the the stitches to be slightly shorter at the peak of curves um, so it'll actually go around corners a little bit better so that's if you've got something with a lot of curves on your running stitch set that set your drop run stitch to cord gap uh, and it'll it'll intelligently change the the stitch length on the fly um, to try and help your your machine go around the corners. Now, this actually turned out not to be a very good example because just because of the way that I was so lazy when I traced it. So, I'm going to bring in a more accurate outline so we can see the differences a little bit better. I use my magic wand. Yeah, it's a cheater's tool. Sue me. All right, run stitch. Okay, so here's the default settings for the run stitch, where it's going around and it's dropping the run at anchor. Okay, so you, we see that the fidelity is very good on here. It lines up very good with my outlines change that to none and hit apply see how my outlines no longer line up I'm going to change my stitch length to half of what it is now stitch it to, change it to 1.5 I get a lot of my my detail back and then let's see what it looks like with the cord gap 
See how it hugs the, the corners perfectly? I don't care who you are, that's awesome. So anyway, that's the, that's the end of this video. Um, just uh, something I just learned and something that I think is pretty neat. See you on the next video.